17 seconds here for 100 thieves as they hover the monkey king. What are we looking at? Let's see if it actually is. Uh, there has been some botling Wukongs I've been watching in solo queue. It's powerful. It Ooh. can work, but I don't think that's necessarily what you'd hope for. And it's going to be a Nard top. I guess while. with Brandini, not so much. That's one of his big champions. True. Uh, and worth noting that Mr. Rollins will not be on a marksman, despite what I was saying earlier. He will be playing that Swain down with the Morgana. And we're going to have two mages down the bot lane. So that'll be a fun matchup to watch, as well as this Kindred and Talon who can influence the map more early on. Every time I, I still like, kind of think of Raleigh, as you, it's a protected Kog'Maw. Yeah, exactly. Something to sit on that back line and really pressure. So this will be awesome to see. She coming in from bot. That would be from stun. And he's going to stop his right away. Still has the taunt, and they go on to Shady. Huge damage with the Ignite coming up in the follow-up flash hit. Coming in from stun for first blood. And that'll be for Rift Herald this time. Instead, Brandini going top. Ooh, Permafrost is now going to lock down Pycake Lord as he tries to deny a bit of vision in the brush. It's not going to be enough. The heal comes through. But that Permafrost able to quickly stack up would have taken him down. Mike Young finding himself in a bad spot. Lambs with Spite to go down and save himself. No, it does not. And now it's going to be a Blaze Olive in the frying pan. A 4v1 situation away from Turd Aggro is perfect for 100 Thieves. 40 CS up in that mid lane, which is starting to amount to levels already level 11, and that's gonna help put down the damage. It's huge for a Black Shield and Soul Shackle initiation. Ah, sweeping him back, not into the wall, but enough. Would have absolutely ticked him down. Instead, just gonna eat the flash. <laughs> They say you want the fight, we'll take the fight to you. Stunned up and up, the Lambs were fight cannot even come down. It was not the first time that's happened to Mike Young. These fights are happening so fast, but is it too fast for 100 Thieves to even get their hands in the pie once again? A one-for-one -one trade. We've talked a little bit before on the LCS analyst desk about how, as Rikara once again hopping on to Shady. I get this kill. Oh, he's gonna. Yeah. Talon, he's like, guys, I've been playing a really good Vladimir. Please pay attention. <laughs> so I think we can figure it out now. Pycake Lord going down. And wait a minute, a 2v1. Mike Young throws down Lamb's Respite. Coming in with the clock tower, possibly drilling him down. It will not be the throw from Brandini as the kill comes in for Mike Young. It's all been a ruse. 100 Thieves is topside taking down Baron. Vision of Empire will give them an idea of what's going on, but it has to be placed correctly, and they may miss something along the way. Teleport will come in as Brandini's there. No Meganar to be used, so they may want to just go after the fight immediately and charge him up. It's Raleigh throwing down the ultimate. R2 will come out soon, but he hasn't taken quite a bit to deliver it back with the souls. Levi almost going down as Raleigh fires off the R2, and Brandini and the rest of the team are heading towards the top side, playing it safe but still looking for an engage just as much as TSM. He's actually almost level 18. The only one in the game that's currently 17, as he's had such a huge game, has to start making the perfect plays. Stunt stopping a Blaze Olive from getting in. Lin Sanity just on the other side as well to hop over. And it looks like they'll be able to secure this one with Winds of War just short. Mike Young gets taunted, and they cannot make their way to the Baron. A Blaze Olive locking down three on the backside of the pit as Shady gets the Lambs Respite to help him, but he does go down as Mike Young knew what he was doing. Raleigh's chased out of the fight as Pie Cake Lord goes down in the first death of the fight. So scattered, I'm sorry, second of the fight. So scattered are these fights as a Blaze Olive cannot make it all the way out. The drill goes forward as they try to spark a fight. Oh, is he stunned up before he can use the ultimate spell? Immune comes down, so Lambs Respite comes out. Shady's very low now, but they're all trying to stay alive in the Heavenly Respite. A triple kill for Linsanity. The fourth one comes up for Brandini, and the last one, Linsanity as well. And a four for one, the ace comes through for 100 Thieves, 17 to three at the end of the game and over 16,000 gold in the lead. 100 Thieves takes down TSM Academy.